when I started with MS, we didn't even have MRI machines. <laughs> and there really wasn't a lot of focus. There were no treatments available. So now we have treatments available. We're seeing a change in sort of the natural history, I think you'd say, of, of multiple sclerosis. Um, and also a lot more interest in the symptoms and symptom management of multiple sclerosis, so it's not just the disease, and also the wider impact that MS has on, you know, not just the person with MS, their family, their carers, and the community at large. Social and applied uh, research is really looking at the here and now, so we're looking at the physical, psychological, social and economic impact of multiple sclerosis. Um, as compared to basic science, which is looking for the cause and the cure. And of course, they both have to go hand in hand. And we know that people with MS leave the workforce much earlier than any other uh, chronic diseases. And we've found that um, in w work done through MS Research Australia, that the main reason they leave work is because of the symptoms of MS. So it's really important that we focus research now into these symptoms and how can we best address them, alleviate as best we can, and try and um, not only improve the quality of life for people with multiple sclerosis, but also reduce this huge economic burden. I'm very biased here, but I, I believe we really have to be dealing with people who are having problems in the here and now. It, the hope is for a cure, the hope is for treatments that are really going to minimise everything in the future, but we really do need to be looking at the impact um, of people with MS now and do our very best to improve their quality of life. The establishment and the growth and expertise developed through MS Research Australia has really helped focus research into all areas but it certainly helped social and applied uh, research and I think with that we're attracting younger um, researchers coming in with fine brains. There's certainly increased communication and collaboration so that we're having sort of developing centres of excellence and that just adds to national and also international collaboration which is just fantastic. I've been very fortunate to be involved in MS at a time when things have really developed exponentially. Um, I've been privileged to work with people who are at the you know, basic research level who just are doing their best to try and find uh, what's causing this disease, but also working with wonderful people in that day-to-day -day who are at the coalface with people with MS every day and seeing the distress that this disease can cause. Um, but the advances that have been made and to be able to help someone improve their quality of life, even though that might be just a small thing for now, it, it, just, it does make you feel good.